So when you have meta titles, of course you have meta descriptions. Um, I have some close SEOs to me that say the meta description uh, has no SEO impact whatsoever. Um, I believe that it's marginal, but the most important part of it is definitely for click-throughs when people are seeing the descriptions of pages when they're doing SERPs. So, you know, when you do a search, um, I want to break this down real quick. Let's actually do a search, a few things. We like using Orlando and Houston are close to the heart, but let's go with, um, let's do Orlando personal injury lawyers. So we can kind of put all these things into perspective. So, you know, for results, I mean, everything we're talking about so far, of course, you have the ads up here, you have one ad that's embedded within the maps, and then you have uh, your organic maps right here. Um, so we've talked about, you know, that's URL, this is the meta title that we've been discussing. So you can see here, this is the main keyword they're going for, you know, they appended the best, you know, good for super lawyers, that's how they rank a lot of things using best top top rated all stuff like that. And then they use the brand right here. Same with some with uh, expertise and super lawyers, you know, they're using more of a list, but this is the main keyword you see here, plus their brand. So you can see, this is a best practice as you can, as you can see here. I mean, it's used a lot. You can learn a lot from directories. I wrote an article about it. You can learn a lot from kind of reverse engineering some of the work they're doing. So we have the title here. You can see they're certainly taking advantage of how long the descriptions can be nowadays. So, you know, before it used to be maybe like 70 or 80 characters. I think it's, it's as many as 140. And a lot of people um, technically um, haven't taken advantage of it as much as they could. Um, in this situation, once, once the results get a little bit um, further down in the results, it might get cut off um, out of just um, the sake of there being space. So I'm sure you've seen from some results that the top ones tend to get as much um, real estate as, like, as they want, essentially. And then once you get a little bit lower down, down here, at, tends to uh, taper off a little bit more and you can see these getting cut off, but you can see that these are available and that's why, you know, this is here as far as this being cut off. Um, this is an interesting one results 125 to 69. I probably have to see what that's all about, but um, yeah, description is, um, you know, best practice here. You know, some things are missing title de meta descriptions. When you, when you don't include a meta description, what will happen is it'll um, Google will automatically typically pull the first couple sentences of the page itself and then just throw that in as a description. Probably not going to be the best way to convert people. Um, sometimes it is. And then as far as this, yeah, there's a lot of times that people are um, going above 170 characters, which seems to be the definitive number um, as it stands today.